About four years ago, we decided that we needed to go upstream, not only pull bodies out of the river downstream, but go upstream and find out the roots of slavery, find out the roots that made people vulnerable. And we realized that many people were economically vulnerable. Porque nosotros, los productores, llevamos plátano en el Fucalpa, en el puerto, te pone 10 racimos, 6 racimos, ¿por cuánto? Por 20 a 15 soles. Entonces, para la agricultura no es progreso, no vemos el dinero diario. En este caso, ¿quién pierde? Nosotros perdemos. I first came to the Amazonia region of Peru five years ago to understand better the challenges that indigenous people, indigenous tribes, who've had thousands and thousands of years living in this region and now are simply hanging on with their fingertips to history. They're almost extinct, their language is passing away, their culture is passing away. And it just, it tears me up when I, when I meet these wonderful, generous people who are so tied to the earth, so tied to their history and their legacy, to know that they are facing extinction. When we were visiting the community, Jovita Bardelas was one of the organizers. She now lives in a local port town and had come with us in order to go back to the village where she was born. During the course of explaining what the community does to survive, what the community has gone through, she shared that human trafficking is a part of their tragedy, that many of the young women of the village have been trafficked into the commercial sex industry. Veo en la mesa una nota diciendo, mamá, estoy viajando a Lima. Ya cuando estaba llegando, la señorita le ha dicho, saca tu vestido y vas a poner este vestido, pero ya con vestido ya cortito. Mm -hmm. Lo hacía trabajar como 6 de la mañana hasta las 2 de la noche, 11 de la noche, pero sí, sin nada. Hay muchas jóvenes que necesitan para estudiar y entonces caen en ese problema muy fácilmente. In large part because there is no sustainable economy in the local village. They go to the port and they're in the port city, they're alone, they're looking for work, and someone gives them a promise that's really a false promise. Jovita says that if we could create local economies, if we could create strength in the local community, it provides so much protection and inoculation for their exploitation. Their young girls, their young boys, would not go to precarious situations and face the vulnerability they do today. Not for Sale, in its first four and a half years of its history, relied on donations. We went to foundations, to uh, wealthy people, high asset donors, and we asked them to help us with our mission. And we love the generosity that inspires, but also it's very difficult to sustain that over a period of time because you're spending everything that you bring in and there's no recurring revenue. There's no constant source of, of donor revenue. So we decided to create a company that would address that vulnerability. And our first company was in the Amazon of Peru, sourcing ingredients that would create a beverage called Rebel. Roots, extract, bark, berry, leaves. Rebel was created in order to not only create jobs for people living in vulnerable communities, but also return revenue back to Not For Sale so that we could continue and expand our work around the world. Customers care about the identity of the company they buy from. They want to feel that they have some connection to it, more than just a product, but you know that they're doing something more important, there's more significance. If people and planet are not gonna be benefited by the ingredients we source, then we will not source those ingredients. To buy a bottle of Rebel today is a way to create new jobs. It's a way to create revenue back to not for sale. It's a way to tell the story in retail stores all over the United States. So as Revel grows, Not For Sale grows. This is a reinvention of philanthropy. It's a real invention of charity because it creates sustainable ways for the consumer, the producer, and the NGO who are working to bring them together to be sustainable together.